Hello everyone, it's David Taylor at Web Media with this week's online marketing secret. And today I want to tell you about a new innovation from Google called the Data Highlighter. Now this is a pretty interesting development uh, in terms of the way that your, uh, your web pages rank and also um, the way that uh, Google presents snippets in search results. Now this is a search result for my brand name and just to remind you a snippet is this piece of black type on a search result uh, that tells the searcher what to expect if they click through on the link and this can be a make or break piece of information. Now what this new tool called the Google Data Highlighter does is it, it allows you to tell Google in more detail the structure of information on your web pages and as you can see down here at the moment the tool allows you to teach Google about um, the data in these categories on your website articles events local businesses restaurants products software applications movies and TV episodes so if for example your your website contains an article you can tag it as an article using this tag and then you can actually tell Google uh, the structure of that article uh, so that Google better understands that page on your website. Similarly if you have an, a page which is about an event taking place you can tag that up so Google understands and can present in the uh, snippet of the search results here it can better understand how to present your event uh, from that page. Same with products and, and local businesses. So I'm going to show you an example. First of all, you've, you need to access this, this through Google Webmaster Tools. Now, I'm not going to go into um, Webmaster Tools in detail now. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about it. If you haven't got it attached to your site, you need to get it because it's going to show you a whole lot of really critical information about the way Google is uh, interpreting your web pages. But you, you basically um, you, you access this, this data highlighting tool through Webmaster Tools and you have to have verified your ownership of the website. And again, there are videos available on that or you can drop me an email at contact at davidtaylorwebmedia.com if you need more on that. But let's assume that you're you're signed up to Webmaster Tools and you'll see a new uh, a new um, menu item on the left sidebar called search appearance and underneath that you'll see data highlighter. And you'll see if you load that a little uh, introductory video that you can probably watch uh, give you a better idea of what this data highlighting is about. And once you're ready to move on, you hit this blue button in the center of the page called Start Highlighting. And what it'll ask you to do is to specify a page that you want to highlight uh, on um, on your website. So you need to put in the um, URL of the website you're going to highlight a page in this case my own site and I'm going to put in the home page or index page uh, as the page that I want to tag and then there's a drop down for the type of information you want to highlight and that reflects what I was just saying about what is this home page that I'm going to tag about what is the stuff I want to highlight is it products is it, is it an event? Is it an article? Well, I'm going to go for local business. And now you've got two options, tag this page and others like it, which means that if you tag one page, Google will look for that pattern throughout all the other pages on your website, or just tag this individual page, which is what I'm going to do for this example. I click OK. And now what it's doing, it's loading the page that it has in Google's index. And you can see there's a sidebar uh, here with various things. So it's asking, because I've said that this is a local business, it's asking me to specify the data that relates to these items, name, address, telephone number, opening hours. Because the more that I can tell Google and enable it to understand my homepage, the better 
in terms of the way it presents me in search results, but also in terms of search engine optimization. Uh, SEO is very much about making Google as aware as possible of um, what your pages are really about. So uh, I'm gonna highlight over here on the left, web media and I'm going to tag that as the name and you can see now on the right sidebar it has put web media as the as the name of the business uh, now I'm going to tag the address so I highlight with my mouse and then click on the tag for address now I'm going to tag telephone, opening hours, I don't tag, don't specify opening hours, department, I'm going to pick up on um, website design and build uh, under category I think. Let's put that in. I don't think you can put more than one item in there. And I'm going to highlight that as an image. And then I'm going to highlight this as a review. This is the reviewer name, and then underneath that, this is the review uh, it's not a score, okay, and so there we go. I've tagged up this page with information that tells Google more detail about my business. And I'm now going to go to the top right, the red button, and press publish. And now I can see in Webmaster Tools that I have published a page. It's not going to actually change my, um, my website page at all. Um, what you can see here is a little piece of information saying the data will become available as Google recrawls your site. So it won't happen straight away, but it's the next time Google uh, crawls your site, that's when it will see this structured information and it will understand your page better and it will probably change the way that it presents uh, your snippet, both in the Google Plus social network and also in search results. Uh, because you've tagged that structured data. So I'm sure there's more to learn about this subject, but that's an introduction to the Data Highlighter, the new tool from Google. Um, I'll probably be back with um, some more videos about this in the coming weeks, but uh, I'd invite you to take a look and uh, help Google better understand your web pages. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for another online marketing secret. Until then, thanks for watching and bye for now.